Hi everyone, it's Cathy here from Zorbello's Designs. Happy New Year to you all. And um, today I wanted to do something a bit different to the normal cards that I do. And I thought I would share with you one of my projects that I've been doing for the last four or five years now. I buy a blank calendar in the UK from a UK stockist. And I create images with Lavinia and I make my own calendar. And it's very popular. I make one for my daughter and one for my sister. So, um, you know, it keeps me busy. But I've just discovered that Patty now has the new Lavinia calendars. They've just brought out their own brand of calendar where you can make your own designs. That's great because it'll probably be a thicker card than the one that I use. Um, and you, you can have a choice then because you can either tape it off with some low tack tape or, as I do, put it on card and then stick it down. The one thing I would say the advantage to doing it on card and then putting it onto your calendar is if you don't like it or it comes out wrong or you make a big mistake, you can just discard it and then do another another scene without ruining your calendar. But, you know, it's entirely up to you. The choice would be yours. This this particular one I'm going to be doing with the card. And how I do this is I measure the gap between, um, I think the Lavinia might have the month at the bottom, but I, I measure the size that I want it to be. And I cut a piece of card accordingly. This one is seven inches by four and three quarter inches. And I then create a scene. And once it's finished, I put it onto the calendar. So I have a different scene every month. This particular calendar is mine, but the one underneath here I'm showing you is, is one I make for my sister. So I've actually got up to October with hers. So I'm going to make the November scene and then stick it in. Right, so for this project... I use the Lavinia LAV649 Birch, the LAV662 Layla, the LAV667 Wren, the LAV698 Flora Set, and I use the one on the left, and I use the LAV592 Pine. I use my Misty for stamping the fairies. I used Elements Ink Blue Atoll for the background with a blending brush. And for the stamping, I use a VersaFine Clear Nocturne. I have a quickie glue pen for attaching some glitter, a white Posca pen, and some of the Starbright's holographic glitter. So let's get started. Right. I'm going to start by used this particular ink quite a lot of times so it's not as juicy as a, as a newer one so just bear that in mind when you're doing it you can see that mine's been used an awful lot and I'm going around the edges first I want the edges to be a bit darker and then I'm going to spray this with some water damp cloth or a wet wipe. I'm just going to dab it in the centre. Like so. Oops. Now I'm going to dry it with my dryer. Do this in first and second generation. Just a little bit there I need to take off. Now I'm going to use the 
small red pine. I'm just going to do this in second generation. I don't want the whole length of the pine. Now I'm going to use my stamping platform. I'm going to position these. of the camera. Perfect. And this one. Oops. Oh, I want to make sure that her feet are and her hands don't touch. That's great. to do this bit by hand. I'm just going to pick it up. I just want to have a few I'm just going to put a little bit of white Posca pen.
out of the glitter. for the rest of the day but it is very sparkly so I'm just gonna... place this here like so I might need the brush to uh... The rest of the glitter off the bottom. There we go. Fun calendar page. Quite a simple design. I kept it as brief as possible, so um, it's perfect for a beginner. Um, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, um, we would like to invite you to join our Facebook groups if you haven't already joined. We have two Facebook groups. We have Del Bello's Designs Lounge for all things Lavinia. And we also have De Bell, De, Del Bello's A La Carte Lounge. And that's for all the other products that Patty sells, the stencils and stamps of other companies. Um, so we'd love for you to join us there and share your work. And I hope to catch up with you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.